My name is now Namikawa. I started working this year and just recently moved to Tokyo as a new grad, 22 years old. Um, I think this is it. I left my parents' house and I'm gonna start living on my own. I hope I get along with everyone. Well, kind of. I'm gonna live in this three-story building that is way too big for any 22-year-old to rent on his own with others. I think there are four of us, including me. I hope they're nice. Yep, I'm staying in a shared house. I love that it was cheap, but of course, I didn't want to just be alone. That was the biggest reason. I'd never lived alone, so I didn't want to just jump into unknown territory and start living alone. I wanted some friends, even if that was someone I'd normally never talk to. It's nice to have someone else under the same roof as me. Oh, Yukawa-kun, welcome! Oh, Ada-san! The person that welcomed me at the front door was Eiko Ada-san. She owns and operates this house. We had spoken on the phone a few times, but it's the first time we're meeting in person. Is this all the luggage? Yes, it is. Okay, I'll introduce you to the others, so come on in. Uh, okay. Ugh, I'm so nervous. I hope I don't stink. I think I made sure I don't look funny or anything. The living room is right on the other side of this door. They're all over there. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. I can't be afraid. First impressions are lasting impressions. I need to be happy and joyful around these people to keep healthy relationships. All right, everyone, listen up. We're going to be adding a new member to the share house. Be nice. Go on, Namikawa-kun. Introduce yourself. Um, I I'm Nami Namikawa now. Nice to meet you all. Namikawa. No. I've heard that name before. Huh? Wait a second, huh? What's wrong with the three of you? Stop staring and introduce yourselves. Kanami Kanagawa, 23. Tamiko Tanamachi, I guess it's nice to meet you. I'm Sasegawa Sanai. You already know that, though. Yeah, it wasn't just me. I remembered all their names, too. Why? What the hell kind of coincidence has to happen for this to happen? All right, everyone has introduced themselves, so I'm going to go home. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, Namikawa-kun. Yes? I think you know, but the most important thing living here is having healthy relationships with others. Ugh. You can do most stuff freely, but make sure you remember that one rule. I can't leave someone here when they're going to lead to trouble. I mean, you'll be fine. You seem hardworking and kind. Actually, I was exactly that trouble that you were talking about. I'm the spark to set the gas ablaze. Hardworking. Kind, huh? I mean, that's all he's got going for him. I can hear you. Guys, I can hear all of you behind me. All right, I'll be around next week to check on you. See ya! Ah! I have a lot I want to ask you. Yeah, first off, you know these other two? Yeah, how do you know them? Seems like they're very familiar with you if you're just friends. Uh, um... Oh, sorry, I'm probably making things awkward here. Huh? I used to date this guy in middle school. We broke up over an argument, and this is our first time seeing each other since, so it's a little awkward. Me too. What? I have dated and broken up with now in high school. I don't know if you call it breaking up, but we just kind of stopped talking to each other. Really? 
Yeah. No, I'm just curious. Sonai chan isn't talking about when we were dating, right? No, definitely not! Hey, what are you talking about? I used to date him in college. I mean, we broke up in a few months, but... No way. So, all three of us... ...have dated Naokun at one point or another. <laughs> That's right. All three of these people that I am with now are my exes. That day around 6 p.m. Apparently, unless you have a good reason, everyone eats at the dinner table. Duh. I want to break it. If it wasn't some kind of rule, then I would love to just leave and break the rule. How did they even feel like eating dinner with me? It's gotta be awkward. Uh, so you went out with these two after breaking up with me? Uh, I guess so. What? You want to complain about the fact you used to date me? Nope. I just feel like he's got no discipline. We broke up, so I definitely had discipline. What are you talking about? You should drag it on for at least 10 years after you break it up with me. Don't be insane. What's so insane? I actually... It just means he wanted to forget about you, Konami. What? What? I just told you the truth. Now was able to go out with me without dragging it on. How dare you! Hey, hang on, you two! We're eating right now. Please stop arguing. Uh. Hmm. <sighs> what are you guys going to get so caught up about anyway? So silly. Tamiko, uh, thank you. It's just a child that was in grade school doing the usual insignificant romance stuff. No one cares about it. There's no point in talking about it. Uh-huh. Really? Why did you just add fuel to the flame? Honestly, these guys are nuts. They should stop caring about me, but they're so intent on talking about their past with me. Ugh, I guess this is women. The thing where they talk about their romance and pop off. This is not what I imagined. It's much worse. The air is strangulating. Then what? You want to say your romance was something more mature and important? I mean, I was over 18 at least. Sounds like you're only having the most impure thoughts. What did you say? Guys, why don't we just talk about something else? You shut the hell up! You did well trying to say something in a situation like this. I'll give you credit for your ignorant bravery. Now, Kun, please read the room. Uh, I'm so scared. We continue to eat in this horrible mood. Dinner finished up and... Ah, <sighs> this is the worst. I thought I was going to have fun in the city with a shared house. We had fun up until yesterday, us three girls. Right, until yesterday. Uh. Why the hell did he show up? Seriously, it would have been fine if it was just me, but I didn't realize that you dated all three of us. Thanks to that, now we're all awkward with each other. S sorry. Seriously? What are you going to do? But, I mean, you guys may just like me, but you don't have to be awkward around each other. Mm. It's not like I was cheating on all three of you. We're not dating right now, either. You guys just spend your time like you normally would. If we could, we wouldn't be struggling right now. Y you can't? I thought I could. It seems like we can't. Right. Why? 
All right, that's the last of it. I don't know if I should really just live here like this, but I'm done packing at least. I guess I can go take a bath. Whatever the case, I've got nowhere to go. It's going to take time to find the next place to live, and I don't know anything about the area. And I don't have any money either. I just need to try to fix a relationship to get along with everyone. Oh. Oh. What, you trying to bathe? Yeah. Don't drink my bath water. Who do you think I am? I've never done anything like that before. You used to drink it before. Chug it even. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? We used to shower together too. That might be true, but I definitely didn't drink your bath water. I mean, some might have gotten in my mouth at some point. Yes, we started dating when we were in middle school, but I knew her from much longer back. That was when we were in kindergarten. We got in fairly often up until second grade. You just came in without permission. Did I? I don't really remember. Yeah, and I don't remember drinking your bath water either. I'm childhood friends with Konami. From K-1 to middle school, we spent our childhood together. That's not it. We both liked each other at one point. How do we drift apart? I'm sorry. Huh? I want to apologize formally about the whole high school entrance exam thing. We got separated from high school, and I just decided on a place to go to on my own without asking her. She wanted to go to the same school as me. It's too late now. I just wanted to apologize. You're fine. If anything, I'm at fault. Huh? You had your goals and you went to the exams, but I just followed you. I cried and whined and acted like a child because I wanted to go to the same school. Konami. I mean, it's pretty logical for you to dump me. Dump? No, I didn't dump you. Huh? If anything, I thought I was the one that got dumped. You never really talked to me after that. That's because I didn't want to affect you with your exam by getting in your way. If anything, you cut ties with me. You never talked to me for four months until the exam. That's because I thought I was dumped. If that wasn't the case, then I... Sorry, I know it's been years. I shouldn't bring it back now. R right. I'm gonna go bathe now. Y yeah. Um, by the way, no. Do you have a new girlfriend? Huh? Of course not. I just moved over here. Uh, right, right, I figured. Sorry for stopping you. Uh, good night now. See you tomorrow. Huh? Yeah, see you tomorrow. I'm glad I could talk to her. I think I was able to fix things a little bit with Konami. <sighs> oh! I got out of the bath and was getting ready to feel the cool night breeze when this time I ran into Sanai. What? You're gonna try to pick someone up this late? Of course not! They're the same as I remember. Just so you know, there are no hotels and bars, so it's not fit for picking up women. Stop acting like that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just going to the convenience store. What a coincidence. I'm going as well. Wanna go together? Huh? What? No? Um... Okay, sure. I didn't realize that she would invite me to go. I thought she hated me. This is nostalgic. Huh? I used to go to the convenience store often after practice. Oh, yeah. We would eat ice cream on the hot days and eat outside. We'd drink hot coffee during the winter. Sometimes we'd get meat buns. 
you're the only one that drank that coffee. I don't like bitter things. What, you still can't drink anything other than cafe all? <sighs> I don't see a reason why I should. Um... um you first. No, you first. No, no, gentlemen first. That's definitely not the way it goes. Why did you start avoiding me? Huh? I tried to remember what I might have done, but I don't know. Right now, we're just talking like usual, so it's not a problem, but... Well, um, I didn't want to get in your way. In my way? Yeah, you liked the manager? No. What? You mean with Ty, right? I didn't like her or dislike her. N no way. You guys would always sneak around after practice. I was about to be kicked off first string. Huh? Me, first string, gone. Almost. So I started to talk to her more frequently to get advice and stuff. About a month or so, I think. So then there wasn't anything romantic there? Nope, not at all. What? No, no, I'm the one that's surprised right now. What the? Uh, did she really avoid me just because of a misunderstanding? I mean, I guess I could have explained a little bit, but I didn't want to tell her that I might have lost my spot on first string. She was my girlfriend, after all. I thought that I was just too strong and boring and not fun, so you just got tired of me and moved on to a bright and fun girl like the manager. Of course not. I don't think I found anyone that I could relax around you. R really? Really? That's why we used to go out? No. But I mean, that's the past. It's not like we can do anything about it now. Uh, What's wrong? N nothing. What was that? Weird. Whatever the case, I'm glad that our misunderstanding from a few years ago got fixed. Now I think we'll be able to get along while living together. Tamiko. Right before going to bed, I was going to watch TV and drink a beer, but someone was already on the couch. You drinking too? Yes. Thanks to someone's arrival, though, I'm not interested, so this will be my last. Oof, cold. <laughs> You're one to talk. You don't even realize what you've done to me. I don't. Huh? I said I don't, as in I don't know. Just so we're clear, I still don't understand why you dumped me. How dare you. I hate you the most out of all the men I've been with. What? I thought you were the first kind and loyal man that I could trust. But you're the same as the rest. You just look for a warm hole with a pulse. Wait, what? I completely trusted you, but you betrayed me! The pain was unbearable. Thanks to you, I don't think I can ever trust a man again. Wait, what are you talking about? You better not play dumb. I was watching. Watching what? My birthday? The day before? You were on a date with a woman! Hmm? Birthday? Before? I was trying to find something for a birthday. Oh. Hmm? Huh. You thought you hit it so well, but unfortunate. I actually had a reason to go out, so I just ran into you. Besides, I thought things were weird to begin with. We stopped going on dates. You'd stop texting me back. I really liked you, so I wanted to fool myself to trust you, but... 
Yeah, I put more shifts in for work because I wanted to give you your birthday present. But there was no reason. I found you in that one moment. Uh, what? I said I had more shifts for work. I wanted to give you something good for your birthday, so I was keeping it a secret. No. Seriously. Honestly, I did buy it. It's still in my luggage. It was a little too expensive to throw away. I thought I'd just auction it off eventually. Then, then who was the woman that you were on a date with? My cousin. Cousin. Want me to show you some photos of when I was with our relative? You remember her face, right? And uh, no, I'm okay. So? Yes? What did I do to you? I'm so sorry. Very good. Ugh, all these women and their misunderstandings. I mean, there's a lot that I brought onto myself, so I won't get mad at them, but I just wish they would have just talked to me. Then we wouldn't have been misunderstanding so much. I'm really sorry. I don't know how to make up for it. It's fine, I'm not mad. Besides, it's been a long time. I think both of us have been able to sort our feelings out. You have? Yeah. R right. I've been rejected in such an illogical way since I was in middle school. I've learned to get over things pretty quickly. So yeah, we figured out our differences. Let's just get along living together, huh? As friends. Okay. As friends. Friends. What's wrong? N nothing Nothing at all. She's mumbling or something, but whatever. Now I've worked things out with Tamako too. I think we could live a happy life with the four of us, all getting along now. What is this? Everyone is in the living room for dinner, but the air is full of electricity, and if anything, it's gotten worse than yesterday. What the hell is going on? Don't make me repeat myself. I said I would make dinner tonight. <laughs> you never make dinner. Now you're trying to look good. That's not fair. You just want to butt in and cook because you want to show off to Naokun. Who cares? I'm his childhood friend. I know what he likes. I'm the perfect choice. You know, knowing what he likes and making things he likes are two different skill sets. Just so you know, I was the one that cooked him his bento through high school. What? I don't think anything from when he was a child means anything now. Your palate changes as you mature. Have you guys ever drank with him? This is now going in the completely opposite direction as before. And why are they fighting over who cooks dinner? I will eat anyone's dinner. Um, how about I cook dinner? Besides, things have been weird since this morning. Why is Sanaya coming out of Nao's room? Huh? Who cares? We were just making small talk. I get along with Nao. Konami-chan, you invited Naokun out for lunch, though, didn't you? Th 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 that's because there was a lot of stuff to carry. <sighs> that small, tiny bag was a lot, huh? Ugh. How much were you watching? So, who are you going to take with your theme park tickets, Tomiko? What? You bought two tickets. It wasn't four or three. It was two. We all just recently moved up here and barely know anyone, and you bought two tickets. Th that's... I get it now. I'm slow usually, but I understand. I'm totally the responsible one for making this awkward atmosphere. 
These all broke up with me with some kind of misunderstanding. I just resolved that misunderstanding all at once, which meant all of them felt that breaking up with me was a mistake all at once. No! Tell me! Do you still like me or do you hate me now? Wait. Hey, now, I'm sorry I was wrong. If you give me another chance, I will do anything for you. No, um... No, Kun. I will never suspect anything of you again. So please... Uh, what do I do? Romance is one of the holy trinity of things that screw up relationships. If that person finds out about what's going on, I... Namikawa-kun! I got a little curious, so I swung by. What's going on? I'm totally screwed. There's a reason. I heard something about liking and hating or something along those lines. Uh. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no way you're already making some kind of four-way love square two seconds after moving in here, right? Oh my god, I'm gonna be chased out of here at this rate. Oh, we were just arguing over cooking, the three of us. Huh? Then we just got a little heated and started asking him to judge. I yeah, Namikawa is the newcomer, so we wanted to have him judge our cooking. Uh oh, okay, I see. I was a little shocked because I just walked into that scene, you know? Ha, ha, ha. I'm just glad there's no trouble. Just so you know, any relationship trouble means bye-bye. I, I understand. All right, I'm going now. You guys continue getting along. Phew! <laughs> that was close. Really? That would have been bad if she really heard what was going on. I'm just glad we were able to talk our way out of it. I would feel horrible if Nal was chased out over this. The thanks, guys. I was saved thanks to the teamwork of my three exes. I mean, I was in trouble because of them to begin with, but... I will keep that to myself. I'm part of the reason, too. Ah, <sighs> fine. I declare a ceasefire. Right, we'll be screwed if Ida Sun shows up out of the blue again. Yes, let's all stop stealing him while Nalkan is in the share house. Are you guys sure? I mean, that's all we can do. But still, there is one thing I'm worried about. We're worried that you might find someone else during our ceasefire. Huh? I mean, you're the man that keeps getting dumped and finding someone else. I didn't, um... So we're going to take shifts. Huh? For example, you're my lover on Mondays and Tuesdays. Sanai's on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Tommy goes on Friday through Saturday. <laughs> like dinner. No, nothing like dinner. That's not something that you can just add shifts to. It's decided. Until things calm down, that's how we're going to do it. We can decide the details later, like vacations and stuff. About daily contracts, too. What to do about contacting outside of shift hours? There are stores that you have to reserve a month in advance, too. Why are you guys just moving along like it's decided? I'm not some kind of piece of furniture that came with a share house. Bonus. So, how are things going on? You guys getting along? Yeah, I think so. Getting along, <laughs> not sure you can call it that. 
You got this. If you say it's okay, then I'll say it's okay as long as you keep things okay. Huh? 